Okay, we're uh, preparing to flow a cylinder head that uh, Dick or Dave has uh, sent to us. And before we put it on the bench, I'm going to do a uh, calibration uh, for the bench here. And the first calibration should bring in 115 CFM uh, on the uh, on the flow soft uh, digital readout. And then <clears throat> this will confirm the low lift uh, calibration. And then for the higher lifts above 400, I use this plate here, which uh, should flow uh, <clears throat> anywhere from 190 to 191 uh, CFM uh, in calibration mode. So let's compare the uh, bench with calibration. so powerful you can't lift it. Alright, so that plate confirms that the low lift uh, numbers will be very uh, pretty much dead on. Then we put on the, the higher uh, flowing calibration plate and we're looking for 190 to 191 CFM at uh, 28 inches conversion. confirm that our low lift and our high lift uh, numbers uh, that will be processed from the cylinder head uh, intake number one uh, will be uh, pretty much dead on based on the calibration plates that uh, have actually been uh, uh, calibrated on another super flow bench and as you can see uh, they flow within uh, actually within one CFM of each each other which is uh, under 1% uh, uh, swing. So <clears throat> at this point <clears throat> I didn't mention that over here I was double checking the d depression with this uh, new uh, parallel uh, digital manometer uh, that confirms that our test pressure uh, for the PTS uh, digital manometer in a are in agreement. Okay, with the bench calibrated, uh, we're now ready to test the uh, cylinder head.